Kumusta kayong lahat? Welcome sa Matstorya. Samahan niyo ako sa bago nating topic, the six trigonometric ratios. So we can only use the six trigonometric ratios if the triangle is a right triangle. So we have this given right triangle and this is our angle theta. So therefore, this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent and the longest side of a triangle is the hypotenuse. But if this is our right triangle and this is our angle theta, so this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent and the longest side of a triangle is the hypotenuse. So to solve now for the six trigonometric ratios, we're going to use this formula. So for sine theta, that's equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. For cosine theta, it's adjacent over the hypotenuse. And for tangent theta, it's opposite over the adjacent. Then for the remaining uh, three trigonometric ratios, so this cosecant theta is just the inverse of sine theta. Since sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so this cosecant theta is hypotenuse over the opposite. Then the second theta is just the inverse of cosine theta. Since cosine is adjacent over the hypotenuse, so the second is hypotenuse over the adjacent. And for cotangent theta, so just the inverse of tangent theta. Since tangent is opposite over the adjacent, so cotangent is adjacent over the opposite. So these are the six trigonometric ratios. So we have this given, so find the six trigonometric ratios of angle A and angle B. So for angle A, so therefore, this is our angle. Since this one is angle A, so this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent and this longest side is the hypotenuse. So using this mnemonic, the SOCATOA to easily uh, find the six trigonometric ratios. So this so that sine equals opposite over the hypotenuse and ka that's cosine equals adjacent over the hypotenuse and this TUA is tangent equals opposite over the adjacent. So for sine A opposite over the hypotenuse and the opposite is 12, then the hypotenuse is 13. So sine A is 12 over 13. Then for cosine A, that's adjacent over the hypotenuse. So adjacent is 5 and hypotenuse is 13. So cosine A is 5 over 13. Then for tangent A, that's opposite over the adjacent. So opposite is 12 and the adjacent is 5. So tangent A is 12 over 5. And the remaining three trigonometric ratios, so this cosecant A is just the inverse of sine A. Second A, just the inverse of cosine A. And cotangent A is just the inverse of tangent A. So cosecant A, that's hypotenuse, 13 over the opposite, that's 12. So cosecant A is 13 over 12. Then for second A, that's hypotenuse is 13, adjacent is 5. So second A is 13 over 5. Then for cotangent A, that's adjacent over the opposite. So adjacent is 5, opposite is 12. So cotangent A is 5 over 12. So these are the six trigonometric ratios for angle A. Then for angle B, so this one, this is the angle B. So therefore, this side is the opposite. This side is the adjacent and the longest side 
is the hypotenuse. So using this uh, mnemonic, the SOCA TUA, so sine B is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine B that's adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent B is opposite over the adjacent. So for sine B, opposite is 5, then hypotenuse is 13, so sine B is 5 over 13. Cosine B, that's adjacent, that's 12, hypotenuse is 13, so cosine B is 12 over 13. Tangent B, that's opposite, is 5, and adjacent, that's 12, so tangent B is 5 over 12. Then for the remaining uh, three trigonometric ratios, so for cosecant B, that's hypotenuse over the opposite, second B, that's hypotenuse over the adjacent, and D is cotangent B, adjacent over the opposite. So for cosecant P, so hypotenuse, that's 13, and opposite, that's 5, so cosecant B is 13 over 5. For second B, hypotenuse is 13, adjacent is 12, so second B is 13 over 12. And for cotangent B, that's adjacent, that's 12, and opposite is 5, so cotangent B is 12 over 5. Then for this problem, so if sine theta is equal to 2 over 3, then find the other 5 trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios. So if this is our right triangle and this is our angle theta, then since the given sine theta is equal to 2 over 3, and formula for sine theta, that's opposite over the hypotenuse. Since this is our angle theta, so therefore, this one is the opposite, and that's equal to 2. And this longest side is the hypotenuse, and that's equal to 3. So therefore, this side is the adjacent, and the adjacent is unknown. So we need to solve first the adjacent using the Pythagorean theorem. That's the hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. Since we're going to solve this adjacent, so we need to transpose this opposite squared to the left, and that becomes negative. So hypotenuse squared minus the opposite squared equals the adjacent squared. So we're going to use this formula to solve for the adjacent. So substitute now the values, so since hypotenuse is equal to 3, so that's 3 squared, then minus the opposite squared, that's equal to 2, then equals the adjacent squared. Then this 3 squared, that's 9, minus 2 squared, that's 4, equals adjacent squared. Then 9 minus 4, that's 5 equals adjacent squared. So to solve for adjacent, so take the square root, then cancel. So adjacent is equal to square root of 5. So this one is square root of 5. Then we can solve now the remaining 5 trigonometric functions. Since sine is a uh, given, so... Let's go to cosine uh, theta, that's adjacent over the hypotenuse. Then for the tangent theta, that's opposite over adjacent. This cotangent, the inverse of tangent, that's adjacent over the opposite. Then the second, so the inverse of cosine, that's hypotenuse over the adjacent. And this cosecant theta, so the inverse of sine, it's hypotenuse over the opposite. So for cosine theta, so adjacent, that's square root of 5. Then hypotenuse is 3, so cosine theta is square root of 5 over 3. Then for tangent, that's the opposite over the adjacent, so opposite is 2, adjacent, that's square root of 5. Since for tangent theta, there is a radical in the denominator, so we need to rationalize. So in rationalizing, just multiply both sides by that radical in the denominator. 
So since square root of 5, so multiply both sides by square root of 5. Then 2 times square root of 5, that's 2 square root of 5. And this square root of 5 times square root of 5, so just uh, drop the radical, that's equal to 5. Because square root of 5 times square root of 5 is equal to square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Then for cotangent theta, that's adjacent over the opposite. So adjacent that square root of 5, then the opposite is 2. So cotangent theta is square root of 5 over 2. Then for second theta, that's hypotenuse over the adjacent. So hypotenuse, that's 3, and the adjacent, that's square root of 5. Since the denominator contains a radical, so we need to rationalize. So multiply both sides by that a radical in the denominator. So second theta is 3 square root of 5 over 5. And for this cosecant theta, so hypotenuse over the opposite, so hypotenuse is 3 and the opposite is 2, so cosecant theta is 3 over 2. So these are the five trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios.